Hey, this is Joe from Personas. In my last video, I talked about the channel overview feature in Studio One, which gives us this, as of version six, gives us this cute new window that lets us see everything that's happening on a channel so we could even close the mixer and still adjust things. Another feature that came out with version six that complements this really well is this idea of using micro views to do your mixing. Now the micro views part isn't new, but the ability to use micro views with third parties is new and it's very cool. So now you're not limited to just the Studio One stock plugins, you can use it with anything. So real quickly, here is the typical workflow for using a plugin in any typical DAW. You double click on the plugin, you open it up, you make adjustments, you close that window, you move on to the next plugin. Now Studio One makes it slightly easier because you can click on these tabs and it'll switch between all the different plugins on that particular channel, but still you're kind of opening and closing windows over and over and over again. Nothing wrong with that, but you may find yourself maybe with a huge list of plugins, or maybe there's just a, you're always opening this plugin and you're always only adjusting this level knob here and nothing else in the plugin. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to adjust this without having to open the full plugin? I'm glad you asked. So the way that works with Studio One, it's actually been a part of Studio One for a long time, but it's only worked with our plugins. So it looks something like this. If I single click on Pro EQ, it actually gives me a readout of Pro EQ. I can see what's happening. I can even move the cute little EQ settings right here. So that's cool. I like this a lot for the visual feedback it gives me. Like over here, I can see that I've got a high pass filter and a, some sort of a cut in the low mids. That's useful information to not to see and to have without having to open the plugin. Same with multiband dynamics. It opens up, and this just gives us more of just some parameters to adjust. Right now, it's just the global gain. And then VT1, we get this cool VU meter, and then we have kind of the ability to turn the compressor on and off, EQ on and off, and see what kind of the EQ and compressor curves are, okay? So that's been there from the beginning. Compressor, by the way, let me put compressor on here real quick. Uh, these are the two kind of places where we see it used a lot is where we single click on a compressor and we get this look, right? So we can adjust the threshold here. We can see how much compression is happening. So it's a pretty unique, cool thing, but up till now it's only been on specifically on Studio One plugins. You couldn't do this with third-party plugins. Well, now you can as of version six. So here is a kit plugin. Um, and if we just open it up, you can see it is a channel strip. Uh, this is their Blackbird channel strip. Very cool. Um, you can really, like, let me show you what it sounds like. You can really mess it up by cranking it like you're running it through the console and doing just completely destroying it. That's not what it's meant for, but that was fun to show you. Okay, so here are the settings. It looks cool. Obviously, it'd be nice to open this up and tweak it, but maybe I find myself only really adjusting the this control and maybe this control. Well, if I don't really want to open the plugin every time, then I can actually have those controls available here. So if I single click on this plugin, check it out. We get five parameters that we can adjust right here without ever having to open the plugin. We can switch modes. There's two modes there, like a line mode and a mic mode. We can turn this up and down. We can turn the saturation on and off. Now, you may say, well, wait, those aren't the five parameters I want. No problem, hold your horses. Just click on this plugin and choose set up micro edit parameters. We can remove all of these if we want and say, I just wanna be able to, we'll leave the sensitivity there, but maybe I want the low pass frequency the high pass frequency, because that's actually a pretty cool thing. And then maybe the, let's just go with analog level, whatever that means. And we say, okay, so now these are my settings that I have available to me. So I can have five here. I don't think you can have more. I think five is the limit. Let's find out. Let's do high gain and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> you can have more than five. So it sounds like you can get pretty nuts and fill up your whole screen with this. But with a single click, I can now see all of these settings. And maybe I leave this open for the duration of the mix. So I can come in and adjust that a little bit and then adjust this one a little bit. And I'm doing all these adjustments inside of Studio One without ever having to open the plugin. That's not to say you shouldn't open the plugin or you can't open the plugin, but let's say you use the same set of plugins on all your buses, like you have a certain console plugin that you love and you're, you've kind of, you're, You've gotten over the phase where you love to look at the plugin. You're more interested in what it sounds like and you know which parameters you want to control. You could set it up like this and now you're just controlling those specific parameters and you're moving on. What's the end result? The mix sounds great and you're probably working faster than you've ever worked before.
which is a cool thing. If you're doing this for money, it means you made more money in less time, or the same amount of money in less time, which is more money per hour. Or if you're doing this for fun, you're able to make more music because it takes you less time to mix. Those are wins in my book. I don't know why I just picked up my giant jug o water but there you have it thanks so much for watching this video hope it was fun and helpful for you if you don't have studio one version six yet you can get it today right now like in minutes by becoming a sphere member which is just 14.95 a month head over to our website to find out more thanks for watching see ya